What's good? What's good, everyone? I am Young Reno, the Rookie Chef, and we back again, y'all. We're going to be doing another one. This is going to be another first one, first try, doing it for the first time, y'all. So this is going to be kind of fun. I just want to try something. So today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making a Cajun Cranberry Meatloaf. Yes, don't that sound interesting? And it sounds yummy, too. Cajun Cranberry Meatloaf, everyone. And here's what we're working with. We're going to be using ground turkey and also ground beef. I'm going to kind of half and half it. So we're going to have both those meats together for our meatloaf. We got some fresh parsley right here I'm going to cut up. We got some bell pepper here I'm going to cut up. We got Creole seasoning. Uh, we got some of that pure cane sugar dark brown. We got that Cajun seasoning. We got our breadcrumbs right there. We got that black ground pepper. We got that seasoned salt. I mean, uh, the sea salt grinder. We have that tomato ketchup by Heinz. We have that jelly cranberry sauce. We have smoked paprika. We got diced onions. And we got some loaded baked mashed potatoes that I'm just gonna have, have on the side. We got a little meatloaf pan and we got our mixing bowl to put our meat in and our seasonings, okay? That's what we working with, y'all. So, without further delay, let's play. So what we first gonna start doing is getting ready to chop our Freshly parse or fresh parsley. So what I'm gonna do first is, you know, I mean you can pull it, you know, you can separate them like that. But what I'm gonna do basically, just gonna use my scissors. You know, they say you can keep the stems too. It goes good with broth or something like that. You can just save them if you want to do that. So basically, what I'm doing to get my leaves off, you know, I'm just gonna do like like that. And as you can see, that's gonna work just perfectly before I start chopping. Them. So I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna get to chopping them on up. And also, I did clean these. I left ran them uh, under some cold water first, and uh, making sure there's no grind, you know, nothing like that on them. So, as you can see, I already got them like I want them. That's what I'm gonna do. Put them together like this, switch them together with my hands like this, and then I'm simply just gonna do like this. Just like that. And as you can see, as you can see, doing it that way, I can cut them up real fine, just like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and dice all those up like that and we'll be right back. Okay, y'all, as y'all can see, I went on and see, got that nice fresh parsley already chopped up and cut up and ready to go, okay? Ready to go. So now what I'm simply about to do now is cut up my bell pepper. I'm gonna try to cut it up as small as I can, makes it cook better on that meatloaf. So let's go ahead and get that going. Okay, so I'm just taking my bell pepper now, getting that ready. So what we're gonna do, chop them up like that. So they're gonna be, they're gonna be little. They're gonna be tiny like that. That's exactly what I'm gonna do when I get through doing this. So we'll be right back. So as y'all can see, I cut up that bell pepper real small, like little, you know, really small that I can, as I can get them, little tiny ones, you know, like that. So. There y'all have it. So we got that and that. And I already got my onions. I bought my onions already cut up. So I'm just gonna lay that on the tray real quick too. All right, y'all. So there's the diced onions right there. The diced onions, they're, they're diced real small. So there you go, there we got it. We got the fresh parsley. We got the, uh, the fresh bell pepper. And we also got this fresh uh, onion already uh, that I bought already. But we, we actually cut these up, but the onion was already bought. Okay, so now we got those three out the way, all right? Next, let's start getting our meat in this bowl so that way we can start putting everything together. First, the ground beef. Let's go ahead and put that in there. Just in there like that. Okay, now let me get the turkey meat. So we got our genio here. This is Italian seasoned ground turkey, just to be exact, okay? So, let me go ahead and snatch half of that. Just like so. Get that in there too, all right? So we got half ground beef, half ground turkey, all right? That's how we're gonna, that's how we're gonna roll with this, all right? That is how we're gonna roll with this. All right, y'all. Let me go ahead and uh, uh, wash my hands real quick and then we're gonna keep it moving. 
Oh yeah, and I also forgot to mention that we do have eggs. <laughs> We're gonna be using two eggs, all right? We gotta have eggs for the meatloaf. And these are organic large brown eggs, okay? Just wanted to just wanted to share that with you. All right, y'all, so we got our hamburger meat and our turkey meat in the bowl. What I'm simply gonna do next is we're gonna go ahead, put our onions in here, we'll put our bell peppers in here. All right, and we're gonna put our fresh parsley in here. Put all that in there like that, all right? And we also using milk too, y'all. Forgot to tell y'all, we got milk going in, the, going in the mix too, all right? Okay, we got that in there. Now I'm gonna start doing my seasonings. We got our Creole seasoning. I would say about, about a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half, y'all. Teaspoon and a half, okay? Get that in there. Cajun. Cajun, I'm gonna say, uh, we're gonna go ahead and do a tablespoon, because this, this is a Cajun dish, okay? Okay, get that in there like so. Get our pepper. I would say about a teaspoon and a half of the pepper. Put that in there. Salt, I'm not gonna use too much. Y'all know how I am about the salt because the Creole seasoning is already pretty much got, got salt in it already. So we're just gonna take one spin around, which will probably be half a teaspoon. We've got our smoked paprika. About a teaspoon. Teaspoon of, teaspoon of that smoked paprika, all right? Okay, now let's get the eggs. Egg. Okay, before I get the eggs in there, we're gonna put some of this ketchup in there. Now I just bought this, let me see if it's a seal. Yeah, I knew there was a seal on there. Go ahead and get that out of there right there, like so. So on the ketchup, I would say three tablespoons, you know, three, two and a half, whatever you choose. So I'm just gonna eyeball it. Then we're gonna take two eggs. That's one. And these are organic brown eggs. You can use the white ones, you know. These just seem a little bit more interesting to me. You know, like I say, we are the rookie chef, so why not, right? Okay, now we're gonna get to mixing this up. And then after we mix it up, we're gonna add our breadcrumbs in there and mix it up a little bit more. Almost forgot. So we put all that good stuff in there, right? The ketchup, cranberry. So, you know, this is a new idea, y'all. New something, a little something for the rookie chef. So with the cranberry, we're also gonna use it as part of our sauce, but we're also gonna put it in this mix too. So, just a regular spoon, teaspoon, right? I'm just gonna say one, two, okay? Put two teaspoons of jelly cranberry, all right, inside this, okay? Just wanted to let y'all know. Now, now it's time to get messy. So what I'm gonna do, let me put my hands in here and get to mixing all this up. Just like so. I'll get it all mixed up. All right, so. Get all this mixed up. And once we get all this mixed up, I'll come back and let you see what it's looking like, okay? So I'm gonna keep the mixing going. I'm gonna quickly do real quick. So we're gonna keep the mixing going and then we'll be right back. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna let y'all see what this looking like. I done got it all mixed up in there. You can see all, everything we done put in there. Y'all can see that already, right? So now, what I'm gonna do, take these breadcrumbs, about three-fourths, okay? What we're gonna do, pour these breadcrumbs in there, just like so. Just like so, all right? So, now you know what we're about to do. Time to get to mix, mixing this up. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, I just put the breadcrumbs in there, and this is what it's looking like, just like that, all right? Now it's ready for us to get this milk in there. So we got our 
2% milk right here, 2% reduced fat milk right here. We're gonna pour it to about three fourths, three fourths of a cup here. Like that, okay. And what we're gonna do, let's go ahead and pour it on in there, like so. Okay, y'all? Let me get that mixed up and we're gonna keep the groove going. Okay, y'all, I put that milk in there, so as y'all can see, what I'm doing. Just basically making sure I get everything mixed in there completely. And it's coming out good, y'all. Y'all can take a look at that. It's coming out good. So that's all we're gonna do. We're just gonna keep this going to the mix. Then we're gonna get, get ourselves ready to start lining up our pan. So what we're gonna do before we start putting our meatloaf in this meatloaf pan, what we're gonna do first is, instead of me using the, uh, the, cookie, the, the, the cookie spray, to spray it in here real good, you know. I'm gonna take aluminum foil, and I'm gonna put some little uh, aluminum foil in here. That way, it's gonna make like a little, when, it, when the meat is done, all I have to do is grab the sides and pull it out. Won't have to worry about uh, hoping that some of it is not sticking, even though we use the stick spray, just to make sure we get that meat loaf out, all whole. So I'm just gonna make me a little, kinda like a little ho uh, hoist <laughs> with the aluminum foil, all right? Just like this, y'all. Just like that. So when it's done, I just simply remove the sides and then I can just pull it on up. I'm still gonna use some, some spray in this, you know. Still gonna do that. All right? So, let's start getting this meatloaf in here. Y'all, so we're gonna start doing now. Start getting that meatloaf up in here. This meat up in there, we're gonna start forming our, you know, forming our loaf into a loaf, okay? And you see me just like that, so I'm gonna start putting that in there and I'll be right back. Okay, uh, what y'all think? What y'all think? Y'all think that's packed in real good? Y'all think, y'all thinking that's good? That look all right? I think I did a good job, huh? Okay, so there y'all see it. There y'all see it right there. All right, y'all know what we about to do next. All right, so I got the oven set at 375 degrees. We're gonna go ahead and put this in there for about 40 minutes, all right? Just like that. And now we're gonna let us do its thing, all right? So, remember, we got that, we put cranberry in there and everything, because this is, remember I told you, this is the Cajun cranberry meatloaf. Something that I think gonna be good and come out good, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and let that start cooking, and uh, I will be right back so we can start on the sauce. We have about 20 minutes left on that meat. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna actually create the sauce while we're waiting for that to finish up, okay? Let's do it. Okay, y'all, so let's go ahead and start. Uh, we're gonna work on our sauce. We're gonna do our sauce real quick. While well, you can see inside there, that meatloaf is coming out. It's looking good, y'all. You know, don't forget we got that cranberry in it. That. That's our special, uh, you know, our special ingredient of this dish. All right, so what we're gonna use for the sauces is I'm gonna, I'm gonna put everything in this bowl. We got our cranberry, of course, our cranberry. We got about a three-fourth three fourths cup of ketchup here. We got our black pepper. We got our Cajun seasoning, onion powder. We got some roasted garlic and herb. We got about two tablespoons of brown sugar right there, okay? So, got my paintbrush, where I'm gonna paint it on there. Got my little spatula to get the ketchup out. All right, got my whisk. Can't get no better than that. Let's do it. Okay, y'all, let's do it. So first of all, I'm gonna go ahead and take my ketchup. Go ahead and get it all up in here. Get our ketchup in here. You know, I see I see uh, most people using a spatula to get uh, get it to get everything out. Okay, got our ketchup right there. Okay, got that. All right, now let's go ahead. Get us a little bit of our cranberry. Give it two of these two of these plastic spoons full, okay? So y'all can see. Okay, got our cranberry in there. Matter of fact, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and put the brown sugar right now. This is the brown sugar. So let's go ahead and get that in there, like so. Might be a little lumpy, y'all. So you know, if you try to make it work the best you can, okay? Get that in there. Black pepper, I'll say about a teaspoon. Okay. Cajun. 
They're about a, tea, a teaspoon and a half, because you know you know what we're working with. This is a Cajun dish. Okay, got a little onion powder right here. About a teaspoon. And I got my roasted garlic and herb. Same thing. About a teaspoon, all right? So what we're gonna do, is go ahead and mix it on up like so. And after I'm done mixing this up, I'm gonna let you see what it looks like. Okay, this is what our sauce is looking like. Look at that. Yummy goodness, huh? That is what our sauce is looking like right there. Got that cranberry in there, that Cajun. Oh yeah, this is definitely gonna be, you know, definitely gonna be a Cajun meatloaf, you know? Definitely gonna be a Cajun cranberry meatloaf. Now we're just waiting for the meatloaf to get done. No, meatloaf is done. Let's take it out, y'all. Wow, 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 wow. Look at this, y'all. Look at this. Look at that. That Cajun cranberry meatloaf. Look at that, y'all. I told y'all. Now let's get this sauce on top. What we're gonna do our sauce right here. I'm gonna dye my brush in there. And I'm just gonna paint it on just like that. On top. Just like that. Let y'all see. Just like this, just what we're gonna do, all right? We're gonna paint it all on there just like that. Just like that, okay? So I'm gonna get that all painted on there. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, yeah, this is how we're looking right here. Now that I got it in there. Now what I'm gonna do is put it back in the oven for about maybe 10 to 15 more minutes, and then we're gonna be all done with the meatloaf. I'm also gonna be doing this too as a side. That loaded baked mashed potatoes made with sour cream, cheese, onion, and chives with a taste of butter and bacon, okay? So that's what we're gonna do on a, just a little side thing. The meatloaf is done. My God, look y'all, look. Yeah, buddy. Y'all thinking about that, hmm? So what I'm about to do right now is I'm about to get it out of this and then we about to just cut it so we can see how it's looking inside and then we're gonna get the plating going. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, look at this. Look at this. Oh my God. <laughs> Y'all can't tell me that did not come out good. Oh yeah. Man, 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 look at this here, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Gave it a little bit of sprinkle of that parsley. Don't that look beautiful? Don't that look beautiful? Now we're about to cut in it. Let's cut in it, y'all, before we do anything. Oh my God, look at that. Going right through it. So moist. Oh my God. Cut another one. It just look at that. It just goes right through it. Oh my God. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh yeah, that's all. Uh, mm. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. So moist. Mm -mm -mm. Time for the plating. Are y'all ready for the plating? Here we go. Check it out, y'all. Check this meatloaf out. There we go. Look at that, y'all. What y'all think? Cajun cranberry meatloaf, everyone. Cajun cranberry meatloaf. We got that sauce made with real cranberry. And we also baked it with the cranberry mixed with, uh, with all our seasonings that we did. The eggs, the seasonings, you know, all that we mixed in there. This got cranberry in it with that Cajun, y'all. Cajun cranberry meatloaf. There y'all go. The Rookie Chef way. Mm-hmm, I know this gonna be good. The taste test. Right now. The taste test. All right, here we go, y'all. First, the meatloaf. Oh, man. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Nice and moist. Mmm. You can taste it. You can taste it. The cranberry goes good. Goes good. Trust me, it is a good mix. Let's take a piece. 
with a little sauce. And what goes good with it, with it y'all? A gold one. This is really good, y'all. I'm impressed. Something we did for the first time. What's Rookie Chef? Now you know what time it is. I want to eat this. Time to dim the lights and say our goodbyes. All right, y'all. This is where I say we say our goodnights. I want to thank y'all for joining me. Here's a recap again. Yes, indeed. Y'all can see it. There is that recap, y'all. So yummy, yummy, yummy. Cajun. Y'all, y'all hear me now. Cajun cranberry meatloaf. And it is good, y'all. I want to thank y'all all for being with me. I just want to say my goodbyes. Let me turn that commercial off. <laughs> just want to say my goodbyes, y'all. Thank you for joining me for another Rookie Chef dish. Love you all. Love you all. Please stay safe out there. Until the next one, I am Young Reno, the Rookie Chef. And I will see y'all on the next one. Please hit that like button and subscribe.